1929 JD 1200 CC. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel Seen with Chips. Um, if you haven't been here before then just welcome and consider subscribing and pressing the bell button uh, so that you can be notified of all the videos I'm making throughout the year. Crikey, those, days, those are going to hit me. Anyway, so let's move on from here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to have a walk around um, a 1929 Harley Davidson JD 1200cc. Um, if you saw the videos before, the video before this one, you'll see that I went round a man cave that had lots of vintage Harleys in it, and I'm going to make uh, videos of each individual one. Uh, the, this is the first one of those, which is going to be the 1200cc uh, uh, JD uh, 1929 vintage Harley Davidson. So. I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's move on. But just before I do, um, though, I got a knock on the door last night uh, from one of our local people and they said that they were trying to take contributions for a local swimming pool that they're trying to build. So I thought, well, that's a very worthy cause. So I thought, yeah, I'll give a contribution. So I gave them a glass of water. <laughs> I'm here all week. Right, so the first bike we're going to have a look at is a 1929 JD 1200cc. The colour of this bike is actually a, an optional extra of the day, a 1929 optional extra of green and cream. And what a fabulous bike it is. I mean, and you must just notice the condition of these bikes. Their showroom, absolute showroom condition. Now, I've been told by the person that owns these that there's an awful lot of different things on this bike that are optional extras. For example, this is an optional extra Speedo that's on here that it didn't have one when it came. It was actually, an op can you believe in those days they didn't put speedometers on them. This is actually an optional extra. Now this on here is a fork stabiliser. And because as they developed the bikes over the years, they found that they, they needed a bit more stabilisation on the forks. And this is, some, it's, this is not an aftermarket thing. This is something that Harley did in those days to try and keep the, the, keep the bike being a bit more... Cause, bit more rigid as it was being ridden. As we were talking about the Speedo here, just have a look at how this Speedo is driven. It's actually a, a cog driven Speedo, not like the electrical Speedos that you get these days. This is actually driven by a cog in here. And also this particular bike, which was unique to this bike, it has twin exhaust. And so it's got, it's got ex exhaust on this side but also, if we come around to this side, we have two more on this side, which was, it was unique to this particular bike in 1929. Fabulous piece of kit. Obviously this, we've got a, a blanket and a rack on the back that's an optional extra again, together with saddlebags. So they were really into, uh, really into the touring. In 1929, not quite as sophisticated as today with the single uh, single hatch saddlebag, but what a beautiful, beautiful machine. Right, coming around to the headlights here. The, oh, the horn. It's, this actually is a Claxton horn that um, they started to put on Harleys at, around this time. Right, you'll notice the lights here. We've got twin lights. Now the twin lights only ran from 1920 to 2029 to 1930 and then obviously it went to a single headlight. But also another unique feature about 1929 to 1930 bikes is the round toolbox here. Now as you know, toolboxes now with Hardly are all kidney shaped. Well in 1929 they were round which probably looks a lot, a lot better than the old uh, the kidney shaped ones we get nowadays. But I guess that uh, 
advancement isn't always best, but what a great machine. Now, when on our modern bikes, we go into the, the garage and we check our tires and pump them up. Now, in the, we have here a bicycle pump, just on here. So instead of going to the compressor at the garage, you can actually pump your own tires up when they start to go down. Right, well, I don't know about you, but I think this is a fantastic bike. But uh, as you know, in, in those days, these were all hardtails, uh, not the soft tail like I've got now. So when you come to the, the seat here, the suspension for the seat is underneath there. I'm not sure it's quite as comfortable as nowadays, but it still looks pretty good. So that's a 1929. Harley Davidson. What a fabulous piece of kit. Well, I hope you enjoyed the walk round of that bike. Um, I found it very interesting recording it and just some of the facts that um, I had about it. So uh, if, you if you did like that, then please subscribe and press the bell button and <laughs> notify when I put the next video on. Uh, now the next one's going to be uh, a 1942 WLC military bike. This is the the uh, picture of this up here, and that's the one I'm going to be reviewing next time. So until then, I'll say bye for now. <laughs>